Hello everybody and welcome back to Amity Bloom. I want to share with you the journal that I have been secretly working on creating. I ended up making it into a course that you can actually take. This is the everyday journal. I can't begin to explain the amount of happiness, of satisfaction, of fulfillment that you get from completing a journal from start to finish and adding a new journal to your collection either to share with the world or for you to use with your hands at your desk to document your thoughts your life and your memories it's a book of life and this is the book that i'm going to be using to not only document my life my thoughts and my memories but to also share it with all of you so that anyone can create their own everyday journal that they can create make and fall in love with every single day a journal that you can make every day with simple items that you have around your studio that means something to you. And a journal that once you created, you want to grab, to hold, and to journal in every single day. So that years down the road, you can grab your everyday journal and you can see your memories of how you chose to live your life during certain times. You can see your personality change within your journals. And I truly hope that you guys absolutely enjoyed seeing the process. So the course focuses on creating this journal here. I teach you how to create the cover, how to create the back cover. This is probably one of the most important steps because the cover of your journal, the colors that you use, the fabric designs and textures that you use invite you to not only create a journal, but actually use your journal. The spine. It's a rounded spine made out of fabric and then the closure and <laughs> this is the adorable little closure which I teach you how to create in the class and when you open it up it's as if you have a garden in your book there are so many pages so many pieces that we constructed together so I have organized my big pile of papers into six piles and this way it's a lot easier to then create your pages and using elements and colors that make you happy. Here we have a plethora of a rainbow of color palettes and why I piece together the pages that way. I always like doing a nice little flip of my pages alongside my journal cover. That really resonates well with not only the colors, but that the colors go well with the fabric. And I don't wanna cover up a page that already has a lot of pattern work on top of it. This class is perfect for beginners, for advanced journal makers, and I not only teach you how to create the cover to create your own everyday journal, but I also, as bonus videos, created journal with me, tips on how you can journal every day, some ideas for how you can journal in an everyday journal, such as the one that we created together. I decided to cut apart my paper that's included in the digital files, and I cut out the blue little border as I thought it looked beautiful. And then another page where you document an everyday memory. And then on our fabric flip, later on I'm going to add something on top of here, either a photo or something else. Still don't know what's going to be on that little piece of my journaling puzzle. My favorite materials that I love using for everyday journaling and photographs from pieces that you have picked up throughout your journey, throughout your experiences. Obviously photos is probably one of the most special because you can put yourself and represent yourself through your images and then capture that part of your life in your journal. My tips and tricks on conquering the art of journaling every single day and how to make it meaningful to you. So if you are someone who doesn't have that much time to journal every day, choose pages like this to fill up first. As you're getting used to the concept of everyday journaling, the amount of layers right there enhances your page so much. That's the beauty of journaling. You can always hide whatever you don't like, and you can always add more of what you love. There's digitals, templates, PDFs. You can use these elements in your journal time and time again because you can easily reprint them. Then you can also find a way to incorporate all of these papers, all of these patterns, florals, with your own ephemera. I cannot wait for you to join us in class and for you to see everything that's packed into this course. So this is ephemera that I don't need to create, it's already made for me. I just need to attach it to my pages. Here is my tin of ephemera that we're gonna start sewing together. I have my little sewing shelf here and I think I'm 
going to use the red thread. And of course, because why create one journal when you can create two? <laughs> this is the little mini everyday journal that I created first as a prototype for the class. And I show you little snippets of how I created this journal as well. So you could get an idea for how you can use the everyday journal style and how you can use it to create not only one journal, but two in two different sizes, different color palettes, lots of reds and florals and pinks and pastels for this journal, which matches the cover perfectly. So that is something that once you start getting in the mood of making your own journal, this is something really easy that then becomes super effortless. Two beautiful journals and two completely different styles. This is the reason why I was taking a little bit of a silent break because I was creating this little beauty. I am so excited to finally be sharing another class with you all. If you fell in love with this journal, then I definitely invite you to check out my Teachable. And I can't wait to share more videos as I will be definitely sharing more about my newest journal. So I am taking my journal and I will be seeing you over there at my desk, where I will see you and our supplies and our journals where we can create and journal every day. <laughs> I hope that you guys have an incredible day full of peace and love, sending so many hugs your way, so many kisses. I hope that you guys have absolutely adored this class. Definitely make sure you check out all of the extra freebies, documents, and printables that have been included in the course. I cannot wait to see all of your photos and your comments about how you create your beautiful journals and how you love using them in your own special way.